Good morning, guys. How are you doing this morning? Well, I'm just getting up, and of course, I'm going to look at the internet. Okay, and Krishan is trending once again. But this time, it's about the baby. Okay, so it's, it's, it's allegedly saying that her baby has birth defects because of her drinking. Allegedly because of her drinking. And she's losing fans because of it. Now, first of all, I'm definitely not here to judge anyone. All I know is she loves her baby and she has to hold herself accountable. But also, the fans have to hold their self accountable. And when I say that, I mean that it's not like they didn't know this in the beginning. If, I don't know, but if your fans knew that you were still smoking, drinking, doing whatever you were doing, if your fans knew that they need to hold themselves accountable also, you know, because that's the part that gets people to do the things that they do. Not to say that it's an excuse, but I always have a problem with people knowing what's going on and they still support, they still support like, yeah, that's my girl, that's my girl, I love her, I love her, yeah, I'm going to all her concerts, yeah, I see her doing this, she be smoking, she be high, she be whatever, whatever. You know, because like I say, I still love Krishan. I don't, I don't judge anybody. That's for God to do. Okay? That's for God to do. And I know that everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has to grow up. You know, everybody has to learn. Everybody has to bump their head. Some people have to learn the hard way. You know, but to, to, you know, I I just can't I just can't even find it in my heart to judge. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I say, she need to hold she's gonna have to hold herself accountable for that, which I don't see her not loving her baby, okay? I see I saw her showing her baby more than anybody else. More than anybody else, anybody else that's famous. I saw her show her baby more than anybody else. And I also hear all this disrespectful things about her baby ever since she's been showing her baby. I've been hearing about this cat syndrome thing ever since that baby first cried. You know, seeing content creators just do, saying the most disrespectful things about a child. You know, it, it's just like, I've been hearing this, like so, so much negativity about this girl baby. You know, and I, I don't think it should be like that. It's, it's like, if you, you guys are doing, I mean, some people, I mean, you're not doing any better. You know, these negative things that people are saying about this baby that I'm hearing. Like, what is, like, oh, God, it's, it's horrible. You know, okay, she should, have the, she should not have done what she done, but like I said, nobody can judge nobody. Nobody can judge anybody, okay? She got to hold herself accountable, saying it once again. But everybody got to hold herself accountable for the things that they do. You know, if you're going to support somebody, Throughout their um, pregnancy, doing the things that they're doing, which I don't know what the girl was doing, but clearly people know, you know, and saw. And then when the when the when the mess hit the fan, and they find that that it caused a birth defect. Now you want to call somebody an unfit parent. Should not have no kids. She should have did this and she should have did that. And and that's a disgrace and that's awful. And it's awful. It's awful when you knew it too. You know? And I, I'm just, I just say this right here, y'all. I still put it all in God's hand. You know, I don't judge nobody. Make sure you hold herself accountable. Like I said, I always see her loving her baby. So, it, it is what it is on that. And I, I just hate I just hate it. You know? And I'm just gonna throw somebody else's name in there. Like Queen Op and Shell. You know, me, y'all remember Queen Op and Shell. Oh, they had they I mean they love her. And the things that the, the awful things that she did to Shell, 
They supported it 100%. But soon as it goes too far, it went too far. You watched her for 10 years do disrespectful, unlawful things to another human being for over 10 years. But finally, when it goes too far, she's just this awful person that got support for over 10 years. But now, it went too far. See, that's the part I, I just don't... That uh, People have to be careful because they'll egg you on. They will egg you on, baby. Egg you on. You're going to be getting that bread. You're going to be getting that bread because they're going to be egging you on, supporting you in everything you do when they know it's wrong. But as soon as they hit the fan, they kick it to the curb. They kick it to the curb. So I just suggest everybody just stay on the straight and narrow. Do the things that's positive. People are not going to like that positivity. They're not going to like that because they know they can't kick it when you're down. You know, but a lot of people egg that content on like that. They egg it on because they messy. They egg it on. They egg it on 10, 20, 10, I don't know how long. But I know for sure it's been, over, I mean, for a queen of art, it's been over 10 years that they supported that mess. And they will support you and support you and clap their hands and support you to the utmost on nothing but mess, knowing how evil and dirty and grimy the content is. They build you up just to take you down. Yeah. They build you up just to take you down. Keep it positive, people. It's not easy. But at least you ain't got to worry about them taking you down. See y'all in the next video.